The biggest mistake I think a lot of people make is they get as close to that floating thing and see what's on it, all right? If you were to look and peel back the way that the ecosystem works around that thing floating is, all the prize predators are gonna be 300 feet or further off that, swimming around it, waiting for an optimal time to go and pick stuff off of it. You're not gonna find the biggest fish sitting right on top of that floating rope or that floating tree. So when you see something that's floating, I like to get to twice the distance that I can cast, stop the boat, throw a popper, stop, watch. If there's a school of mahi there, all of a sudden they're gonna appear and you can present yourself and be a little bit more ready for it. But when you roll up onto something that's floating right away, instantaneously, it's, it's over. Yeah, you might pick a handful of mahi out of it, that's great, but you'll never see that 50 pound mahi that's sitting at 150 feet sitting under that thing. But you will see it if you roll up and pop next to it. Pop next to it, get him excited, get him to come up and present himself. Because a lot of times a 10 pound mahi isn't gonna take a go at that. But what they are gonna do is come all around the boat and be fired up. So interesting thing we learned from popping you know, fads and buoys around the world. Don't get on top of it, give yourself plenty of distance. The biggest fish that are gonna be around that floating thing, three to 400 feet in any direction of it. 